Hello out there, this is Desiran, and welcome back to Let's Play Fatal Frame 3, The Tormented. Okay, now, I did the last few episodes in sequence. Where'd we leave off? Here we go. Okay, we got K as far as the um, last passage. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hopefully we don't run into too much trouble. No, K, move it. I need you to move and quick. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Can I go? Nope, I have to fight her. At least I assume I have to. What? No, don't hide. No. Did I actually hurt her? Where? Wait, no, no. Oh, God. There she is. No. Okay. I can actually deal damage. Just got to keep that in mind. I can actually hurt her. Whoa. No. Okay, okay, hold on. What do we got? What do we got? Sacred water, stone mirror. Um, no, I, I don't want to use it this early. No, don't hide, Kay. I was told to think of Kay like a machine gun before. Because he reloads fast. No. I'm actually getting a lot of damage in. It's just very, um... No, 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 no. If I can avoid using the stone mirror, I will.
No. Okay. No, 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 no. No, don't let the hands hit you. Did I get her? Where is she? I'm not sure where she is. Oh, there she is. I see you. No. No. I'm doing very minimal damage, but I'm doing it fast. Yes! Okay, I think I've gotten... I think I've figured out K, finally. I was just like, how can this possibly work on anyone? Okay. Um... Oh, God. I... Oh... Okay, no. We're gonna go ahead. I'm not using the sacred water. It's a risk. But... I don't want to use the sacred water because I want to try and save it. Uh-oh. What the... Wasn't there a bridge here before? Okay, there doesn't seem to be anything else around. Run for it, Kay. Oh boy. This could be bad. My body feels so heavy. What's going on here? Uh-oh. Impale her with the stake of tattoos. The rite of commandment must be conducted sleeping undisturbed for eternity. Oh. It can't be. Oh. It can't be. She's already... Oh. Holy crap. So This can't be good. Okay, we're gonna save first. 
Holy crap. Um, yeah, save over slot two, I guess. So I'm switching between two and four now, apparently. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Okay, I'm gonna check on Miku again. And then I'm gonna check on K. Miku. Okay, nothing. Oh, God. K's been taken. Bag's been left open. Maybe he was looking into something. Inside the bag is a tattered and well-thumbed notebook that I guess must belong to Kay. There's a seal stamped onto one of the last pages. Excuse me. Kay's research notes. I examined the lyrics of the third verse of The Sleeping Priestess. It may be some kind of clue... Below are possible meanings besides impaling the tattoo stake. Maybe the lyrics in the third verse don't mean to make sleep, but rather to send off the priestess. These lyrics certainly fit with the funeral song you was talking about. They practice an ancient spirit world religion over there. At the Kuze family mountain, it's said there is a sacred area called the Sea of Endless Night. On a certain map is drawn a huge sea-like area behind the manor. Maybe it represents the other world. Could that be where the priestess is relinquished? You added Kay's research notes to your file. Send off the priestess. But how? Found an old cassette tape at the bottom of the bag. Ototsuki? I, the writing on the label is rubbed away, but I can just make out the word ototsuki. It looks pretty old. I might be saying that wrong. I have no idea. Okay. I'd say we're pretty much definitely now approaching end game. Notes. K. Okay. Use friend who's researching the manner of sleep. His conclusion is that to get rid of the curse, someone has to impale the woken maiden and soothe her. And so he is going inside the shrine. And once he's there... Okay, let's give a listen to this one. Yes, I'm Konami. Oh my god. Snow was falling. There was a big manor. And inside it there was an old shrine. I could hear singing. She's in there. Reka is in there. No, further in. It was much deeper, darker, like somewhere underwater. No, I'm, I'm talking about my dream. But it was a very vivid dream. It was lifelike. I've heard that there was a place like this in the village where I was found. A place where you can meet the dead. Like a rift to the other side. There's a shrine there. So you can offer up your pain, huh? Yes, th th that's right. Kuze, the, the Kuze Shrine. There, Reka accepted the tattoos. The 
Josephine. And in the end, I must go back to the manor. I've got to see Rekha. If I see her, I, I don't know what I'll do. But if I don't go, she'll... Oh my god. Kaname, could this be the man who entered the shrine? I can hear a woman's voice coming faintly from the radio. Must be receiving from somewhere in this house. Took the spirit stone radio. Uh oh. Things are getting weird. The voice on the tape left behind by Professor Asu introduced itself as Kaname. He must have set out for the manor in response to Reika's voice, heard in a dream, and made his way to the Kuze shrine. Did he find her? Reika, the tattooed priestess? Is there really a place inside the manor where people can go to meet the dead? Okay, I'm gonna save again. go hunting through the house. Sound seems to be coming from the attic. This attic room hasn't been opened since you put his things here when he moved out of his parents' house. Ah, uh, I'm not going up there. Are you kidding me? I'm not going up there, not yet at least. Oh, fine. I'll go. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, why does this room look so familiar? Oh god. In among them I've found one containing a folk legend about the tattoo. Master and Snake. Following his deeper speculation on the meaning of the tattoo design, Holly and Snake, as in the northeastern Japanese folktale, The Tattoo Master. Based on new research, a further change in the story was confirmed. The tattoo Master 2. The girl who lost her lover goes to the mountain to confide in the master about the pains of her heart. Upon hearing the girl's story, the master engraves a tattoo on the girl. After that day, the girl dreams of the man. But then she falls in love with someone else. The tattoo dream becomes a nightmare, and the tattoo aches severely. The suffering girl goes to visit the, ma the master again to see if she cannot remove the tattoos. The master washes off the tattoos with water that gushes forth from a mountain spring. As she does this, the snake swims into the water and disappears deep into the spring. The meaning of the tattoo is essentially the same here, but the end of the story is very different. Neither, neither the girl who has her tattoo washed off nor the master dies. Here, the mountain and water spirit properties of the snake are clearly expressed, and is likely a popularized version of the story that incorporates a happy ending. <coughs> this is a very interesting legend in which all the properties of the snake appear, including mountain and water spirit, envy, and pathos. Wait, what? On these old shelves are several photo albums. Some of them contain photos from when you and I were students together. 
I must have put them here when we moved in. It all seems so long ago now. Nothing on this shelf. I was meant to use it for something, but use altar ended up in the altar room. Something wrapped in- okay. Inside the bundle of cloth is what looks like a small stone of some kind. Echo stone earring? Could this be the earring of the person mentioned on the cassette? Kaname? Reika, who heard the longing of the priestess. The other world. I'm soliciting test subjects for my research on dreams as the border between life and death. It was difficult to find someone who could speak clearly about their dreams, but I found someone who seemed to know of the other world. The man has had the same dream for several months in a row. The dream is as I described below. 1. Excuse me. 1. He first notices he is standing before a small snow-covered shrine. Two, he has seen the shrine before, but only vaguely remembers it. He has, however, heard of a shrine like it in his hometown. Three, from deep in the shrine he hears the voice of the girl he left behind. Four, beckoned by the voice, each day he goes a little further into his dream shrine. Up to this point, this is a plausible dream generated from the desire for home and love. Next is where his statement becomes interesting. 5. An ancient ceremony is held there, and one can meet the deceased. 6. <coughs> Excuse me. 6. There is a huge cave deep in the shrine, and a river flows there. There is a large pit, and the base of it is the sea. This statement is clearly about the other world, particularly the underworld. According to his story, there is a legend in his hometown about the other world in dreams, and much of his dream congrues with it. I recorded his talk on his dreams for four days, compiled below. He is from the Mutsu region, where they have an ancient legend about a sea called the Sea of Endless Night that exists in the mountains. There, they have many legends related to dreams. For example, dreams are called the Rift, and traverse the border between the other world and the real world. If you continue to have nightmares, the deceased apparently return from the underworld. Wait a minute, so the rift spreading are dreams spreading? The shrine exists in order to prevent the nightmares. There resides a priestess who sleeps in the rift and will take on the nightmare. The voice he hears may be that of the priestess that sleeps in the shrine of the other world, communicating the existence of the rift. The morning after the day I recorded his testimonial on the gramophone, he suddenly disappeared, leaving behind all his luggage. <coughs> Did he go to see the woman from his hometown? The earring he left is made of echo stone, and since ancient times has been said to communicate thought. Perhaps I can use it to modify the crystal receiver. Paranormal research? Crystal receiver? You added researcher's notebook on the other world to your file. There's a reel of film. Then it might convey her voice and emotions. That voice on the cassette was talking about a place where you can meet the dead. Could it be inside that manor? I want to be with him again. I want to be with him again. That's what Reka's voice said on the radio. I...
and see my face reflected. Ray, oh man. Okay. Um <clears throat> Okay, I'll do a quick look around the house. I don't think we have any film to develop. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't have anything. <clears throat> Again, excuse me. Anything else in used bag? No. Okay, so we're gonna head up. We're going to check uh, used room. Might as well take a quick look before saving again. Can't hurt. Nothing, nothing. I hate going in here, but... Okay. Now, so are we carrying the crystal radio with us now? Spirit stone radio? here one more time <clears throat> just because there were a few things I didn't check what what was that here's some Japanese chests we picked out from Yu's family home when the house was being rebuilt we never used them in the end but I couldn't bring myself to just throw them away So, hmm. Oh, boy. Holy crap. Uh, okay. Excuse me. Okay. So we are definitely carrying the radio with us now. 
So does that mean I can... Echo Stone Earring? No. Hmm. And I mean, we don't have any other notes, right? No. Okay. Well, uh, I'll go ahead and say it now. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, a comment, subscribe if you want to see more, and certainly share it with anyone else you think might enjoy it. If you have any suggestions for other games, or on how I can improve my Let's Plays, please leave them in the comments below, or you can leave a comment on Facebook and or Twitter. I have links on my channel banner for that, and you can reach me there pretty easily. And in the next part, I guess we'll have Ray sleep, and we'll see what happens. I do wonder if we'll be carrying the radio with us into the dream, because it seems like we might need to use that with the earring. At least that's what it seemed like the notes were saying, but I'm not sure. But um, until then, though, this is Desiran. You guys have a great day, and I'll see ya. <laughs> uh.